channel thank you so much for being here and watching today's video i hope you guys are well and are having a lovely month whenever you're watching this in today's video which i'm sure you have already seen by the title of this video i thought i would actually start a pair of my h&m cowboy boots with you guys for autumn and winter so i just thought for anyone that might have some cowboy boots that they were wearing a lot in spring and summer and you're unsure on how to wear it i thought i'd kind of round up some of the ways i'm styling mine for autumn and like moving into the winter months as well like coming out of summer too and also just like hope that in a tiny way it might add a little bit of inspiration for like pieces you have in your own wardrobe and if you have cowboy boots as well and then if you're like looking at a pair and you're umming and ahhing about them but unsure on how you might style it then fingers crossed in a very very small way or in some way that this video works as a little bit of style inspiration for you guys but I am in love with these boots from H&M this video was kind of for me as well getting a bit more experimental with them in my wardrobe for autumn and winter and when I originally got them I always try and think of like five to ten ways that I know that I'm going to wear them and in my head I definitely had five that I was like yep yeah this is how I'm going to style them, I'll just wear them like this on repeat and it will be something that I gravitate back towards and keep doing and then when I did this video I was like actually there are so many more ways that I can style them than I originally thought I could in my head or like with pieces that I already have and kind of ways that I want to style them for more colder days and like warmer days and like date days and things like that so I thought I would basically round up a few of my favourite ways to style them I also am going to leave on the screen here like a little flat lay of different outfits there's a few more in here I think I did 18 or 19 different looks I'll also see if I think I've got the photo on my phone I'll try and like add that here on the screen as well where I basically just took pictures of all the ones laid out so that I can always go back to it I actually use an app called unfold and sometimes when I kind of have a new piece in my wardrobe and I'm not getting as much wear of it like wear out of it as possible I kind of just like have a little afternoon sometimes like an hour or two and brainstorm all my ideas take photos of them and then put them into this folder and sometimes I'll see if I can show you guys now sometimes when I come back to it it's so helpful being able to see the looks because I feel like you know when you're in a bit of a rush and you're unsure on what to wear on a certain day I always just go back to this folder and just see the different outfits so like this is like my neutral outfits in one folder then I also have like all my colourful kind of outfits that I'm really loving right now. And then again with the kind of cowboy boots, I've got loads and loads, like even this one with all the try-ons. I just, it just means if I want to wear them and I want to kind of mix up what I'm wearing, I can just go to that album, <laughs> which has become really handy. Probably very, very organised and not what everyone has time to do or wants to do, but I quite enjoyed doing that on my Sunday. <laughs> when I was alone last week. So anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into outfit number one. This is just styling as like a classic kind of everyday, a little bit more of like a dressed up look, I want to say. I feel like with cowboy boots, they kind of dress up, make an outfit feel a little bit more chic. So whether you've got kind of like below the knee or above the knee cowboy boots at home, or you've got these ones in particular, I feel like they are quite a cool, chic, street style way of dressing up those outfits that you have in your wardrobes as well. So this little black dress, I feel like most of us might have a little black dress in our wardrobe, so I thought I would start with this one. And then it's styling with a blazer. I am a big blazer lover, which some of you may already know, and it's my favourite month to just bring out a blazer with every single outfit. I feel like I've done that a few times with some of these looks, so excuse the fact that I do it quite a lot in my videos, but I love this one from H&M, and I thought the tones in this blazer went really nicely with the boots and that's something that I quite like doing I do it quite often with my pieces I like kind of picking up on maybe jackets that have more different colored details in and a different check blazers and things like that and then picking up on the colors and matching it with accessories and I feel like it's a really nice way especially in autumn with those more neutral pieces where you want to add like a little bit more something something to a look if you've got those favorite colored jackets or knits that you're unsure on how to style with different pieces then sticking with more of those neutral tones is a really nice way to kind of embed those pieces in our wardrobe so just kind of going for a classic this would probably be like a girl's brunch maybe into an evening maybe a shopping day 
something like that for me personally that I would wear, but it'd probably be more on the dressier side because I feel like the dress and the blazer combo with the boots kind of dresses up the look a little bit. Next up, I am loving a little cohort right now and I just kind of wanted to chuck this in here as a really cute kind of city chic day out outfit again that is instantly like elevated with the boots. I just feel like cowboy boots make an outfit feel way more statement. And I mean, a cohort in itself, I feel like always does that for a look for me anyway. But this is from actually my and my best friend Kirsty's brand wonder the label this little set and it's honestly one of my favorite sets from the timeless collection that we launched a couple of months ago and I know it's very biased for me saying because I designed it for like two years <laughs> to get to this point to be able to wear it but I just love the shape of it and I love the color of this for autumn and I feel like it's a really nice way of going very tonal with like looks moving into autumn and winter I love color I have lots of color videos coming out of how I style color in autumn and winter but I do love neutral styling this time of year and I love all like the tonal browns and oranges and like beiges and things like that and I feel like if I'm ever really stuck for a look I just kind of mix the colours together and I love how tonal and kind of put together an outfit can be with just sticking with those neutral pieces so if you've got cream cowboy boots black cowboy boots styling around those neutrals is a really nice way to kind of create an everyday cool city day out outfit next up styling the boots with jeans this was actually very requested to kind of style with trousers these boots or cowboy boots in general so I thought I would chuck in a few different ways that I style my boots with jeans and also so like tailored trousers and things like that because I feel like it's a cool way of having like a comfy boot on with those pieces. These jeans, however, I was umming and ahhing about sharing this look in this video, but my skinny jeans, my blue skinny jeans were in the wash. So I wore them last week with the boots and then I was like, oh, like, I was filming, I was trying on the outfits, I was like, oh no, they're in the wash, so I actually can't put them on with the boots, so I had to use my dad jeans, which, as you can see, kind of bunch up a little bit. I don't mind this, but they do look so much better with, like, skin tight or kind of a mum style jean where there's less fabric, but because these are a dad shape, I just wanted to mention that quickly before. But I thought with this one, I would kind of show ways that I style more of like different tones of an outfit, how I style more like classic blue jeans in my wardrobe with them, and also go for kind of a free color rule with the accessories matching. So whether you've got a boot that has a black heel or a neutral heel, I always kind of focus on that. So within this video, I was mainly focusing on the boots with all my outfits. I was like honing in on them and styling around them. Sometimes I style around like a pop of color knit. Sometimes it will be a shacket, whatever it is, I kind of focus in on one piece and then kind of base around that. And if you've got that piece that might have like a black heel to it, or you've got a statement piece that has maybe some more neutrals in, I tend to match my accessories around those kind of pieces and details. So the boots have a black heel, which makes it quite easy to style with black accessories. So like I've done here with the little vest top and then the bag, and I potentially, if it was a sunny day, have black sunnies on as well. And I feel like that kind of ties the pieces together, but then adding a bit more of an element with it with the blue jeans and gray blazer to kind of bring the outfit to life, make it a little bit more casual every day for me personally. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea or blazer, but this would be kind of like an everyday classic kind of more casual way of styling them and I feel like this would be perfect for like city days out again getting things done going into town with family things like that where you kind of got day into night kind of jobs and activities to do and yeah I just love them with the jeans and the grey blazer I feel like this is a very kind of cool way of adding lots of different tones to a look Next up, styling with an all neutral look. So like I was saying, picking up on the details of the boot and having that black detail makes it for me with these ones in particular, quite easy to kind of style around with more of those black accessories in my wardrobe. So going for like an all neutral outfit with the fake leather leggings. These are literally my go-to in autumn and winter. They are a classic kind of capsule wardrobe piece for me, especially on the colder days because I find myself gravitating towards them a lot. And this look here would definitely, again, I feel like a lot of these are very like city day out, going for like any kind of day activity that would take me straight into the evening because it just dresses up a look with the boots so well and I love it and I've just gone for the fake leather jacket with this as more of like a dressy kind of outfit maybe even like a pub kind of night where I'm just sitting and drinking with my friends I probably wear them to this like this I feel like I need to get some more suede protector for these because although they're not real suede I always get really worried about like getting them really dirty um but yeah this for me would be one of those looks that I kind of wear with friends going for drinks outfit and keeping kind of warm but kind of sticking to those neutrals for a more put together styled look. 
Then next up, a very cosy autumn look, a jumper dress. I love jumper dresses, mainly because they're just so comfy and so easy to chuck on on the like moving out of summer into the autumn cooler days that we get. I feel like they're still kind of on and off humid days and sometimes you want your legs out still or you want a little bit of leg out and I feel like cowboy boots with jumper dresses are gonna be one of my fave ways to style them just because it's a little bit more dressed down. It means you can dress down the boots and have them more as like a classic kind of easy everyday look and I loved kind of matching the belt and the boot combo together. This can be done with like any kind of boot. So you could get your favorite black cowboy boots or just like low chunky boots and match them with your favorite accessories or even kind of elevate the look a little bit further and mix and match your like pop of color bags and lipsticks and things like that. If you wanted to make it like a little bit more dressy, take it into evenings as well. But I just love the kind of brown tonal look to this one, but then also matching the boots with the belt, which the color match with the belt and the boots is spot on. And I think because they're both from H&M, maybe they're the same kind of material, but I'll leave the belt link down below, which fits true to size. And yeah, just in case you guys are looking to invest in the boots or anything like that, then yeah, that does match like spot on color wise, which is quite nice because styling that with blazers and the boots is a really cool way of kind of matching a very kind of tailored everyday outfit as well. Next up, styling with some colour. I love matching colours together and I always do like a double whammy pink combo or orange combo or green combo or even a blue combo. I feel like blue and pink are kind of what I sway towards more, like blue jeans and like a blue kind of blouse or like a little white top that has like graphic blue details on. I love a little bit of a matchy colour combo and right now I actually have been wearing this outfit a lot, lots of different ways. I love comfy tailored trousers and a little pink tee from Zara. I've been living in this it's just so soft and easy to wear with jeans and have it for every day but then have it a bit more dressy here and I like I'm kind of showing you here I've kind of focused on the accessories matching with the boots just to kind of tie in those more tonal colors around the pop of color but I love the kind of neutral creams and the pinks and then also like going for the more like mutual black details with pinks and colors and things like that pink for me is just a color I have lots of in my wardrobe but whatever color you guys have at home potentially then just kind of again like I was saying like matching the shoes and accessories together if you're ever struggling with ways to wear or ways to style those pieces that you have at home next up a more kind of evening or like dressy kind of look for me personally I love a graphic tee matching my bags and lipstick or those kind of things in my wardrobe, it's something that I do a lot. And I really enjoy doing it with a lot of outfits in my wardrobe, just to kind of bring a little bit more color into my autumn and winter outfits, but also kind of just elevate any kind of outfit that I'm going for. I would usually style this look with a red lip, but just to kind of make it more evening, like for date nights and things like that. And I feel like it's a very cool city chic date night, drinks with the girls, maybe going out for like a few cocktails, but then going to somewhere where you're sitting down for the evening and things like that kind of outfit for me and I again tying in the accessories tying in the like details of the outfit with that kind of black detail of my heel of my boot but again you can just do this with any color boot that you have and kind of work around it with more of those neutral tones if that's something that you have more of in your wardrobe or again like bringing the look to life with those pops of color bags honestly if anyone says to me what should I invest in I always say a pop of color accessory that will go multiple ways of multiple outfits in your wardrobe because even in spring and summer, whenever I've got an outfit that feels a little bit more like plain or less dressy or less kind of fun, grab my green pop of color bag and the outfit is instantly completely different. And I feel like it just takes those looks straight from being a little bit more classic and a bit more casual and just gives them a bit more something something which I'm so here for, so, so here for. So my red one is one of my faves that I've had for years and it's always my date night, girls night bag that I gravitate towards endlessly throughout autumn and winter. Next up, styling again with another pair of tailored trousers for more of a dressy city kind of day out look that I would definitely have for kind of more special occasions. I feel like a crop blazer for me is something that I end up kind of going towards when I've got more kind of family events or I've got meet like casual meetings that are then into like more kind of events for me personally with work but I also feel like this would be a really good kind of like going for a like casual kind of cocktail meeting with friends something like that I just feel like this is quite dressed up also potentially like family birthdays and things like that for me this is probably something that I would wear for that as well but I love mix and matching the tonal kind of pieces with more of those burnt oranges this time of year and more of those kind of blues and browns and things like that I just feel like it instantly 
creates a very kind of cool put together look. And these trousers, I love the shape of. I do need to actually get them taken in there a little bit long, but I love this orange color. And I feel like if you've got lots of browns and neutrals in your wardrobes, then going for like an orange tailored trouser, if you're looking to add more color to your wardrobe is a really good buy for the autumn winter months. But again, focusing on the kind of tonal details of the boot and matching them with the blazer and just adding a bit more of an element to the look of the fact that it's a checked blazer not just kind of a plain blazer and things like that is something that I do often when I want a outfit that's more kind of dressed up for evenings. Next up, a day out, everyday outfit for me. I love a shirt dress and I love a little knit vest and I feel like I'm just so happy it's kind of coming back around again from last year at being very in style because I kept my free favorite rib knit vests and I love them. I love styling them with a shirt dress. This one is quite old but I found some really good similars that I've actually tried on that I'll leave linked down below just in case you guys are on the hunt for any and I just feel like with boots in the autumn winter months they're such a good comfy outfit to kind of put together that's very layered up so if it gets a little bit cooler we've got that knit vest on and then it's styling with your favorite jacket so you could just style with your favorite slouch coat your favorite blazer your favorite kind of fake leather jacket it could be anything in your wardrobe that you have as like your key autumn jacket i know that blazers aren't everyone's cup of tea so sometimes i just want to mention that i would also style this with like slouch coats and things like that but i do love a blazer this one is actually a charity shop find in the like men's section which I really recommend if you're on the hunt for a naturally kind of slouchy oversized fit blazer then definitely check out like the kind of men's section in your local charity shop because they are some of my favorite blazers in my wardrobe the ones that I always find for like two pounds <laughs> so this one has been a dream and I love that it kind of picks up on the tones in the knit vest but then kind of sticks as a more neutral tonal look with the boots and works cohesively like that but then also I probably add a black accessory bag or some glasses or something like that just to kind of tie in again with the heel of the boot to kind of work with them nicely for everyday looks. Also for the last outfit, I just want to chuck in the H&M blazer that I shared at the beginning again, just here on the screen with this orange dress. I want to kind of add this one in here because I feel like we're still kind of in summer there's still lots of warm days going on and I've been kind of struggling on what to wear because one minute it's 23 degrees and the next minute it's like 17 and I'm just a bit like what do I wear I need like that little added layer but it's still really warm so this for me is one of those ways that I take my favorite summer dresses into autumn and winter and I add like a pop of color blazer or I add a neutral blazer like I've done here to tie in with the boots and I go for a high knee boot with most of those summer pieces so even if it's like a long like floral dress I just add tonal high knee boots and a blazer and it instantly takes it into the autumn months. I do actually have a colourful outfits video coming very soon mainly kind of showing how I take those summer like blouses and dresses and things like that into autumn because I want to get the most wear out of them. I still love the pieces a lot so this is just one of the ways that I've been really loving doing that and also adding a bit more brightness to my autumn wardrobe by going for those pop of colour knits and dresses is like a statement piece to an outfit. But yeah, they are some of the ways that I have been loving styling the boots in my wardrobe. And of course I'll leave like little pictures on screen here of some of the flat lays of the outfits as well that I've been planning in my head <laughs> and a few more ways that I definitely style them. But I feel like it's one of those exercises that if you're ever stuck with like ways to style something, then get on Pinterest. It is a game changer. And then just kind of have a browse in your wardrobe and experiment. Sometimes just trying on a really random outfit just to see if it works sometimes can actually spark new ideas. I always find that I'll try something on and I'm like, no, that doesn't work. And then I'll end up thinking about something else that I wouldn't have usually gone towards, which I quite like doing about fits. And I also did a Hayley Bieber inspired outfit video recently, which would be uploaded before this one. And I found myself finding loads of different pieces that I really liked styling together that I didn't think I would. So even like activities like that, or like little kind of fun days of planning like that really help. But if you guys have any questions about the boots or any questions about how to style a certain colour in your wardrobes, then feel free to send me a DM on Instagram. I'm always happy to send a voice note back and kind of offer any little bits of advice that I can and things like that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and this worked as a little bit of inspo for looks in your own wardrobes and things like that. And if there's anything you guys want to see from me, then leave a little comment down below or let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one. Lots of love. Mwah. Bye.